TCG fans are notorious for wanting to be able to protect their cards and do it in style, and in an age when card prices are on the up, it's about time that we had some new options. Today we're going to be taking a look at two brand new binders from Salted Accessories, hoping to find their way into your homes, and we're going to be giving away one of them as well. Hello and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video and today, as I said, we're going to be taking a look at these two beautiful binders from Salted Accessories. Uh, they have been gifted to me for the purpose of this review, uh, with specific requests to give a very honest opinion, so we're going to be comparing them against some of their competition, like the works of Ultra Pro, Legion, and Vault, which is sort of where I would see this sitting. Uh, but we're going to run through all of the aspects of these two binders, and what makes them any better or worse than the competition. So kicking off with the base of Violet, the first thing you'll notice is that beautiful vibrant purple on the front and the back, this wrap that goes all the way around the edges. It's quite a hefty binder, um, so it definitely fits into the premium end of the market, and that's where the prices of these binders really sit as well. Uh, on the front side, we have the Salted Accessories logo in the bottom corner where you'd expect the logo from literally all uh, binders of this type. But on the back, there's also a centralized logo as well, just the Salted S uh, with the salt speckles going onto it too. Around the three open edges of the binder, we actually have a zipping mechanism uh, with a zip lock here, uh, which is also in the purple. Uh, the action of the zip is especially smooth. If you compare it to a lot of the other zips on the market, I think this is a surprisingly good option, but of course, I, you know, I haven't had it for months and months, so if I do notice any differences with it, keep, um, keep an eye on the community tab where I'll let you guys know. If we do open up the binder, uh, you can see it's a 3x3 three three construction with the uh, card slots over here on this side. On the other side, we've got the inside cover. Now, the, the fun thing about the inside cover on the Salters binders is it's kind of like a suede, suede-like interior. Um, it's a lot, it feels a lot more premium than some of the covers that you get on the other binders out there in the market. And it's interesting that they've chosen to put so much emphasis on a premium feel. It's just a cover, but the fact that they've decided to put this extra touch on makes you feel like the product has more importance to it. Another thing about the front cover is it's a lot thicker, much sturdier than most other binders out there, even the uh, Ultra Pro which we'll look at as well, uh, and the Vault X, this definitely feels a lot stronger on the front cover and the same on the back cover as well. As for the actual card slots, the spaces, so as I said, 3x3, three three, it's got the usual 20 pages in here, so 360 cards. The same, basically the same stitching down the middle as you'll get from most other binders on the market at the same price range. And it's the same with the, same with the stitching on the actual card spaces themselves. So it all feels very much in line with the likes of the Ultra Pro and, and the Vault and Legion type binders that are out there on the market at the moment. Uh, fun thing, I did actually play around with how many cards I could actually just fit into a single sleeve uh, or slot on this binder. I managed to get to 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! sized cards before I had any issues and started to see the page was warping a bit, uh, which is a surprisingly large number. Now, I'm not sure if that's just uh, because it's not got other cards in it or something, um, but you wouldn't normally expect to fit so many cards in there. So either they've done an exceptional job with this particular binder or you're going to be able to fit slightly more cards into your sorted accessories binders than normal. But that's pretty much it for the base of Violet. I guess the other thing to mention is it's slightly taller um, than your typical Ultra Pro binder to accommodate the zip. So do keep that in mind if the footprint is important to you. Maybe your rucksack doesn't fit a binder that is slightly taller than the norm. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're considering picking up the base of Violet. So switching over to the limited edition Phoenix, which we're going to be giving away at the end of the video. Um, so this, as you can see, has a very different style of wrap. It's definitely flame inspired. Instead of having the faux leather feel that the cover on the base Violet had, this goes for sort of more ridged structure. But that does fit in very well with the flame pattern, um, which you can see is a combination of reds and oranges on the front. Um, it almost has a slight shine to it in the uh, all of the bridges on the cover. Uh, it does make it a little bit harder to read the logo on this version because you haven't got that single colour as a background, so 
If you'd like your logo to be hidden, maybe this is the option for you. Same for the logo on the back. Uh, again, we've got that zip lock all around the edge. Uh, but this time the zip tab itself is in black or like a grey, very dark grey uh, instead. Again, you've got the very smooth action of the zip. Um, I, I will be, you know, considering that when I look at these in the future and is it going to manage to survive the wear and tear of everyday use. And once again, when you open it up, nine, uh, nine slot binder, three by three, and we've got the, the sort of suede like interior on the front cover and also on the back cover. Um, the cover does again feel very thick, it's basically the only difference between this and the base violet is really the wrap and the, the zip tab itself. Everything else is the same, all the same interior in terms of, you know, you've got the same number of pages, uh, the same stitching down the middle, the same quality of these individual uh, card slots. So yeah, that's the two binders, but what kind of competition do they have? As a producer of premium quality binders, Salted is sneaking into a market that already has a fair amount of competition. Uh, in terms of the 3x3 binders, you've got things like the Ultra Pro Premium binders, which I actually have a uh, the black version here. Again, it's like a, a leathery front, but instead of having the like scaly pattern, it's gone for the smoother pattern. This does have the elasticated ribbon, which I mentioned earlier. So an important note about the zip option that Salted is giving you over the elasticated ribbon here is if you put this into a bag, uh, potentially hard objects in your bag can press between the pages and damage your cards here. So that's why certain people, like myself sometimes, uh, prefer to go for a zip locking option for your binder. It just gives you that extra security because there's a little bit of material that covers all of the edges uh, and makes sure hard objects don't get into that gap. Now if we compare with another zip locking binder, here we have the Vault X. This is a 4x3 binder, so much bigger, not going to fit into most rucksacks. But it does have the zip locking mechanism uh, to protect your cards. Now this is actually a surprisingly hard uh, mechanism to find, specifically on Amazon. Um, for a 3x3 binder. So it's very interesting to see Salted come onto the market and choosing that as their primary option. Uh, it does give you that extra protection for your cards, so definitely another thing that seems to be in favour of picking up these Salted binders. When it comes to choosing your binder, you definitely want to be able to combine both style and substance, and I think Salted has really bridged the gap there in what is already a fairly populated market. They've managed to come up with some very vibrant looking binders that definitely stand out from the crowd, whilst offering all of the important features like the zip lock, the usual uh, page layout that you would expect, and the premium feel, the quality that enables you to feel comfortable that all of your cards will be protected while they're held inside the binder. While these aren't necessarily the market dominators, Salted definitely comes out with a bang and gives a great option as an alternative to the offerings of the likes of Vault and Ultra Pro and all the other great companies that are already out there. So I promised I'd give it and uh, here is my honest opinion. If I compare these to my absolute favourite binder, which is the Legion Dragonhide binder in grey, I have to say, I don't think they've quite knocked this one off the top spot for me just yet. Maybe if Salter comes out with a very fancy looking dragon skin cover, they'll be able to take my number one spot. But at the moment, I'm definitely going for style over substance and saying the Legion still has my number one spot. But that said, I think the salted accessories are a fantastic option. Um, the main thing for me is the fact that you have the colour choices available to the consumers, which previously weren't necessarily available. And definitely the fact that these are very high quality binders. They haven't just chucked something onto the market with a nice colour. They've gone for something that is a strong, capable product with a great offering alternative to the consumer. So as I said before, both of these binders were given to me by Salted Accessories, which is a UK based company, but they do have an Amazon shop and I'm sure they'll be able to accommodate customers all over the place. Check out the details in the description. And also, as I said before, we're going to be giving away the limited edition Phoenix binder. This is the orange glowing iridescent kind of binder here. So in order to win this binder, all you need to do is share this video on Facebook and then leave a comment saying what your favorite binder is. I'm looking forward to all your suggestions. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.